today I'm gonna show you guys a very fall cozy shower routine what I do after today is a oh the camera's about to fall today's a Saturday if you know me you know that I don't like going out I really like that I get overstimulated and it just doesn't fill me up it goes backwards for me so I like to stay in everything my friend was supposed to come because I'm gonna be making like pumpkin oh my. my friend was supposed to come because I'm doing like Pumpkin bread, pumpkin spice, and everything. And then I just sent the car to my groceries. She couldn't make it, she got the flu. I was like, you know what? Let it be me and Jesus. You know, just a little fall cozy night. And then I want to watch a movie, take the longest shower, make my body feel so, like, you know, soft, warm. I'm gonna pick out scents that, like, kind of relate to warm, soft type of. I hate when my bun is so big where my shower cap can't, like, fit it, it goes up. So, you know what I do for those? For a little hack, I guess. A silk scarf, and I wrap it around the crown of my head so that, like, the main reason why I wear my shower cap is because to, like, not let the steam from the shower get in my curls, and then my curls become so humid, and, like, it starts to puff up. I, like, kind of cover it, even from the back. Sometimes, like, my buns are smaller, so it's, like... I can fit it, just like I don't need to do this thing. I usually don't, to be honest. I've been having good curly hair days. My wash day was two days ago, so Thursday night, today's Saturday night. And I'm like, my curls are really nice. I don't know if it's because there's no more humidity or it's because the sheer moisture has really been working for my hair. So I'm going to go and get my shower ready. Remember how I dropped my camera inside the shower? I'm not trying to let that happen again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the high kitchen table that we have, put it in the bathroom, put it on my tripod. I love to be extra when it comes to like self-care and just doing like those nights. Like I like to do the full thing. So I actually brought my sunset lamp here to just let the, the bathroom just get to that one. I was trying to do yellow, but this is what I usually do in my room, which is like boring. But my skin shows up nice on camera. This one, I always do like dances and stuff like that with this like do you see how clear my skin is fall color you know anyway we're gonna do this it's orange it's october we're gonna keep the this big shadow is actually the chair but you know what don't mind it i want to relax take the longest shower i got a bunch of these it's small because i don't know which one to get and i wanted like a newer scent this is the one i'm going in with today it's eucalyptus tea tree like it's very strong and it kind of relaxes me when I smelled it. Like, I love eucalyptus. If you've ever congested, <laughs> this one and the peppermint will get you right, especially for the fall and winter. And then the next thing I go in, oh, by the way, I got a new African net washcloth. It came in a pack of two. By the way, I opened a storefront, Amazon storefront. It's going to be in the link below. Everything I show you mostly is going to be there. If not, it's either Walmart, Target. This is not the typical one I get, to be honest with you. I usually get the one that has like, like it looks like a net. This one has like fuzzy stuff on top, which I'm only going to do this for like travel and stuff. I have mine at home. I just got this because... I don't know the next time I'm gonna go home. So I got a new one. So that's what I'm gonna be washing my body with. Then since the Castile soap will strip my skin and will kind of feel, you know, dry, I do this Dove soap. I go in with this. It really moisturizes my skin. I love it. I mixed it together. It smells like sweet. Like it comes up with this own smell that sticks even after the shower. After that, I go in with the Dove. This is the Kaleido Oatmeal. Is that how you say it? And Kaleido Oil smells so good. It is like, like the first level, so it doesn't have that much rock. So I go in with this white exfoliating glove, and then I exfoliate my whole body. And it smells so good. It just smells so sweet, and it goes with the body washes that I put together. I love when this happens. Then I, the last thing I do inside the shower is I go in with this Dove baby sensitive skin for my downstairs area clean it really well with this rag it's really soft almost like my microfiber and you can also use like baby washcloth i just got this one because i you know i just i try to change up my baby washcloth every like three to six months just to keep it you know sanitary but i do wash my rags every single week that needs to happen because i put so much product and you know i sweat in the gym I go through all my day. Then that's going to be my cozy shower routine. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'll film it because my camera is dying. This is my relaxing fall shower routine. If my roommate comes out, I'm done. But the first thing I do is I put up my hair to protect my curls from the heat, humidity from the shower. And then I put the scarf around so that there's nothing coming in my hair. 
I actually started dry brushing and dry brushing is really good for skin renewal, blood circulation, ingrown hair, a lot of benefits. When I go inside the shower, I go straight with my African net washcloth. Then I go with the Dr. Bronner's. This is a eucalyptus scent. It smells so good. My whole bathroom smelled so good. It helped me relax. But the best part is I actually mixed it with this Dove and it smelled so good. Both of it together and stuck to my skin. And so I wash my body with that. It brings back moisture. And the best part is I could wash my back like that with that net washcloth. Next, I go in with the Dove Body Polish. This is my favorite scent. It doesn't have that many rocks, but I do use this once a week. I exfoliate my whole body. My body smells so good and feels so soft. After I'm done with that, then I go in with the Baby Dove Sensitive Soap for my downstairs area. Then I go in with my favorite Amlactin Lotion. One thing I'll say is I put on the Amlactin Lotion where I have acne. So the back of my arm, back of my thighs. And then I put on body butter like this one where I don't. So I go in with the, my, my favorite body butter. It smells so good. It leaves me so soft and looking shiny. But it's not greasy. That's why it's my favorite. After that, I put on my favorite PJs and I relax for the night. So, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm at the shower. Next, if you hear the, the music, I was playing throwbacks, everything. I didn't have like a fall theme playlist, but I just wanted to feel cozy in the, you know, the most coziest way. To. If I want to feel cozy with music, I don't really listen to music that much. I just listen to like, not even Afro beats, to be honest with you. I'm kind of, um, the Holy Spirit has been convicting me with some songs. I'm like, no more, but Afro gospel. I'm starting to listen to that. Some of it is nice, some of it is okay. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, it's just listening, study music, and like focus music. Other than that, it's throwback. So that I could feel warm inside. No more copyright, so. I wanna do skincare before like baking and stuff, cause like once I start watching a movie, I start getting tired. When, when I'm really tired, then I have no motivation to go to the sink, even though it's, I pass it, <laughs> literally. Right there. Living room, my room, I pass it. So I'm gonna do it now. My routine has been the same to like update. I use the CeraVe facial foam cleanser. I put it in this thing because like I like it. It's like plus I can do a travel, even though I have another bottle like this for travel. I first start with my face, obviously. Actually, I should be starting. I can't brush my teeth now because I'm about to eat sweets. I actually have to do that after. I'm trying to do a little like challenge where I brush my teeth like throughout the whole month so that I don't know it's just one of the hardest things I've been trying to do is like brush my teeth at night in the morning no problem I take my time I brush for two minutes at night time it's like every other night like I've been doing way better it makes a difference brushing your teeth at night for the past like two months since August I've been drying my face with paper towel when I say it's so sanitary but I know it's just bad for the environment so I'm like trying to get back to like using, you know, washcloth. Like I'm, an, I'm not always gonna use paper towel. And I don't want to always use paper towel, but the past two months, it's just been so convenient. It's right there. After I'm done with this, you know what I do? I clean my sink with it. That's why I like it. So I go in with niacinamide. So for a little bit, like niacinamide has been, for a little bit, I was reacting to niacinamide. I don't know why, but it actually kept, like causing me acne but i think i know why i started mixing it with hyaluronic acid and maybe my skin is just really sensitive where you can't do, do both now i just use it alone it's really good for like dark spots you have like acne scars and everything it's really good for that and then i let it dry i also started putting it on, on my armpits so if you have like ingrown hair or anything like that it helps i saw a difference in a week and then i let it dry then when i'm done i put the cerave daily moisturizer for nighttime. It's heavier than the one I put in the morning. I realize my skin doesn't like heavy stuff. Keep it simple, less is more. I put that out. I even put it on my neck, just for like extra moisture. Whatever's left on my elbow. Also, my sister told me this hack. Whatever serum you have, if you, if you put it on your lips, helps to hydrate. I do niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, whatever. I don't know about hyaluronic acid, but niacinamide, I put it over. My lips have not been dry and cracked, so it works. Actually, I'm gonna put my Laneige later on. I'm so excited I got this one. I just finished the lime, apple lime. I've been wanting the vanilla one, but I didn't want to buy a new one until I was done with the other one. But for now, 
I'm just gonna put aqua four a little bit under my eyes a breakout right here if you can see I'm a slug if you've heard that word It's like you put your moisturizer and then you put Vaseline or aqua four whenever I feel acne I just kind of put it there other than that I don't put it on my whole face cuz like I don't react that much But sometimes I react here like from the curly hair products on the side then I'm done I actually have an eight so I'm gonna make rice and then yesterday I ordered Thai curry and there's so there's so much left it's like they give it to me in this like bucket thing so I'm just gonna reheat that eat that and then I'm gonna make pumpkin bread pumpkin spice latte it is 10 o'clock at night because I decided to take like hours to take a shower and I'm gonna go straight into the latte because I told my roommate she's an RA she's working at the front desk until midnight and I told her that I could bring her latte now let's watch some TikToks on it but sometimes like I make stuff from TikTok and it doesn't taste right no we don't do microwaves fun fact I don't use the microwave I stopped using it mid lockdown the radiation is not good for you so I don't want to like really you really don't need that microwave unless it's like to melt butter and stuff I'll do it but straight up microwave meals and like microwave my coffee that's one thing I hate I have to drink my coffee or else I have to put on the stove so other than that you really don't need it first of all you're choosing foods that's not like quick ramen stuff like that that's not like you can eat every day it's been easy for me but I'm not gonna microwave some like pumpkin spice latte that's I'm not gonna do that I put like regular coffee halfway I already frothed it I'm just gonna put a little bit oh I can't taste it this is hers oh my gosh it smells like pumpkin spice hopefully that's enough then I'm gonna froth it right now I'm making like the wet ingredients I put like butter I don't think I made enough like this looks more than that, which shouldn't happen, or else I'm gonna eat soup. I always make banana bread, but I forgot the consistency of like how it's supposed to be. But pumpkin is different. Pumpkin bread done. Hopefully it will come out nice. It will, Jesus. And it will taste good in Jesus' name. In Jesus. Put it on 350, and I'm gonna put it in there. I wanted it to look nice, but it's bread. Bread is bread. It's gonna rise anyway. Set a timer for 30 minutes, and it's it. Then it's gonna be a successful cozy ball night. But yeah, that's basically my night. But I'm gonna show you guys after I'm done. Thanks for watching. Come again. Let me just say, this is probably the best pumpkin bread I've ever tasted, and I made it. This is this is not the normal. Then my pumpkin spice latte. You guys have a great fall.